Good morning, everybody. Today is August 11th, and uh, we got so busy with chores this morning, specifically me editing and uploading videos, because lo and behold, I have a cell phone signal. You can see off that direction. We're up on top of a peak right now, and I can see for pretty much forever up here. And amazingly, I had two bars on my uh, for Verizon, which was just enough for me to to slowly upload a video. Um, I think the one that went up today is 1.30, the video where we got back on trail in Oregon. So that'll give you some idea about how far behind we are right now. But this is where we camped last night. We stumbled around in the dark for quite a while to try and find this little spot here because it's quite literally the only spot we could have put a tent in this whole area. Um, and around over here, if you can see it in the, in the camera, there's a, well, it's, it's a pond. Let's say I'm not going to call it a lake. It's definitely a pond. It's only probably a couple of feet deep at the most, but it was water and that's what we needed. So we're getting ready to pack up now and hit the trail, 25 miles to uh, Crater Lake. So hopefully we can get there by tomorrow night. This is shaping up to be another one of those lonely days on the PCT. All day yesterday, we saw exactly one hiker, as I mentioned before. His name was Cleveland, and he was a through hiker who we'd met before. But he's the only one we saw all day. And here we are now, 1.30 in the afternoon, and uh, we're just cruising along. <laughs> well, I don't know about cruising, but slogging along this hard rocky trail uh, and realized I haven't seen a soul all day long so I um, I kind of anticipated something like this happening uh, with so few hikers even sorry this is rough stuff Jesus uh, with so few hikers even starting the PCT this year and then just natural attrition uh, factoring in as people drop off the trail due to injuries or fatigue or just losing the will to hike the farther north you get that there's just going to be fewer and fewer and fewer hikers that certainly seems to be the case here um, even when we've seen the occasional hiker either northbound or southbound I inevitably ask them if they've seen other hikers and oftentimes they report no uh, they'll say that Goldie and I were the only ones they've seen all day long so the PCT is a very lonely place this year
we just wrapped up our uh, lunch break, which ran a little bit longer than we planned, but one of the really funny things about, oh Jesus, sorry about the sunlight. Um, one of the really funny things about the trail, and it's happened before, is you can go all day long and not see another hiker, sometimes more than all day long. And then all of a sudden, it's just like everybody coordinates a rendezvous at one spot. So in the hour that we sat there and ate lunch, we had um, five hikers show up after seeing one person yesterday and only one hiker, well, actually no hikers until we stopped for lunch. And then in the space of an hour, five of them. Uh, one guy was southbound. The other uh, four were, uh, were northbounders, through hikers. Um, one guy, wise man, we had run into him before, then in Kennedy Meadows, and then another character named Shenanigans. Uh, we actually had not met him before, although we were at Kennedy Meadows the same time he was. He was part of that giant group of, of hikers down there in Kennedy Meadows that we were trying to uh, avoid getting caught up in, with because... Uh, they had a reputation of being rowdy. <laughs> and then we just met uh, another couple, a guy named Snack and uh, a woman he was hiking with, Mariposa. That was the first time we had met them. <laughs> kind of a weird thing, you know? You don't see anybody, you don't see anybody, you don't see anybody, and then wham! It's like uh, a rendezvous right here in the middle of nowhere. Date. It's five o'clock in the afternoon right now, so we had a really late lunch. But uh, our plan right now is because there isn't a whole lot of water up ahead, we're actually going to walk three miles to the next water um, spot, and that's going to be the last water until we get to um, Crater Lake. So we're going to go ahead and just cook dinner there. And then we're going to uh, have to carry enough water to last us the rest of the day through tonight and all day tomorrow until we make it to Crater Lake. So, oh, love those heavy water carries. And the terrain has changed once more. And here we are walking down a nice, beautiful, smooth trail. I mean, look at me, not even using my trekking poles. Man, it doesn't get much easier than this. If the trail's like this, whoops, not like that, but if the trail's like this for the next 19 miles, we could practically walk to Crater, Ray, Crater Lake tonight. Of course, literally as soon as I get on camera and say that, we start running into some yucky stuff. But anyway, trail's definitely much much better than it was earlier today and we're only about oh a quarter of a mile away from the water source that we're going to stop at and make our dinner and uh after that maybe hike for another oh two hours which will hopefully translate into a good four to five miles closer to crater lake so that we'll have a good chance of getting in there early enough tomorrow that we can take Goldilocks out for dinner to celebrate her 55th birthday. Okay, we just reached the, uh, the site where we're gonna cook our dinner from some of the last water for quite a long time. So it's uh, here it is right behind us. This is it, this is our water source. And uh, well, it doesn't look too nasty, but if you get down and look at it deeper, 
Uh, it's full of tadpoles and mosquito larvae and all sorts of other wildlife that's going to add some protein to our dinner tonight. So, anyway, Goldie's digging out the, the cook pot. We're going to grab some dinner. Hopefully, wolf it down pretty quick so we can put some more miles in before it gets dark. 6.30 right now, so we got about two and a half hours of light left. Hey, dinner time. It's uh, Spanish rice. With tuna. With tuna. So, shared out of the same pot. <laughs> okay, we finished our dinner. Back on the trail. Goldilocks is setting the pace right now. It's uh, 7.45, so we have a little over an hour of light left. Although we're both wearing our headlamps, so we're anticipating probably doing at least half an hour to maybe an hour or longer of night hiking tonight just so we can get some extra miles behind us and leave us with that much shorter of a hike tomorrow to get into Crater Lake. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there is... That marks the spot for tonight's tent site. It was a long, hard night. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Just a couple minutes after 10 p.m. So, I would say it is bedtime. <laughs> 